In this video, we're going to deal with problems involving compound interest. Let's read through the future and present values for compound interest. We have if P dollars are deposited at an annual interest rate of R compounded n times per year, and the money is left on deposit for a total of T years, then the future value A, and this is the final amount of deposit, is given by this formula. Again, P will be the uh, present value, or you can think of it as the principal, and that uh, value is deposited for a period of, say, T years. R is the given annual rate, and N is the frequency of compounding. So if it's annual compounding, and it, N will be 1, semi-annual, N will be 2, quarterly, N will be 4, that's every 3 months per year. Monthly, that'll be 12. Daily, it will be 365, and so on. Present value P is given by. So for the second formula, we simply solve the first formula for P, and you get P is equal to the value of A, again, which is your future value, over this quantity here. Same as what we have up here. And the exponent here, same as the exponent on the first one, is actually the number of interest periods because you're multiplying the number of years times the frequency of compounding for that particular year, per year, okay? And then you can also have compound interest continuously, or continuous compounding. That means basically interest is converted into principal every instant, okay? So in this case we have A every instant, or it could be if you want every second. So more convenient to use this setup for that uh, case. A equals to the principal or, or present value. E to the RT, R again, the given rate. T is the time in years. So let's look at some examples. Uh, find the amount that results from each investment. So for the first one, we have $50 invested at 6% compounded monthly. So that N will be 12 after a period of three years. So we just plug into the uh, first formula here. So I'm going to use the graphing calculator. You can use a scientific calculator that has the uh, exponential function or key. But here I'm going to use the uh, graphing calculator. So this will be principal is 50, that's your present value, parentheses, 1, plus, and then the interest rate needs to be con converted to a decimal, so it's to be 0 0.06, and then n in this case is 12, because it's compounded monthly, divide by 12, and then exponent, It's monthly for three years, so that's 3 times 12 is 36. Hit enter. So the future value, or the amount that is generated by depositing $50 for three years at 6% compounded monthly is 59.83. Round off to two places since we're dealing with uh, money. So $59.83. Clear this. Now for the next one, we have $700 invested at 12% compounded quarterly. This would be quarterly here for five years. Okay, so those are the uh, values that you're going to plug into your formula. So 700, parentheses, 1 plus 12%, again, is a decimal, would be 0.12. And since it's quarterly compounding, and it's 4, divide by 4, close parentheses, and then the exponent. Five years and four periods per year. This should be 20. 
hit enter. So 1,264. Point twenty-eight. Run that to two, two places. So it's twelve sixty-four point twenty-eight. Click this. And for the last one, forty dollars invested at seven percent compounded continuously after a period of three years. Okay for three years. So in this case we had to use the formula for continuous compounding right here. A equals to principal E to the RT. R is the given rate and T is the time in years. So this will be 40. And then the exponential E, so we'll look second and E. And then the X point then is going to be point zero 0.07 times. And it's for three years. Hit enter. And this comes out to round it out to two places, forty-nine dollars thirty-five cents. Forty-nine point thirty-five. Follow up with uh, possibly some more problems similar to this or ap other applications. Uh, for now, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.